In this episode, we're in Eugene, Oregon. Here we see numerous covered bridges, take you on a yummy takeout food tour, check out some waterfalls, and go on a day trip to the beautiful Oregon coast. The last time you saw us, we checked out the Bonneville Salt Flats on our way out of Utah, and then explored Lamoille Canyon in the Ruby Mountains, which are known as Nevada's Yosemite. Here we also hiked to Island Lake. After that, we hightailed it back to Oregon and had a beautiful spot in Deerwood RV Park. We stayed here for a month while visiting family. So where are we headed? We are actually gonna go check out some covered bridges and eventually some waterfalls as well, which I'm super excited about because you'd think maybe we were in the Northeast, that's the area that's known for covered bridges, but we are actually still in the Pacific Northwest. So let's head out and check out some covered bridges. There's just something about covered bridges. Especially in the fall. And fall is my personal favorite season. It just makes everything pretty. We first visited Parvin Covered Bridge, also known as Lost Creek Bridge. It was built in 1921. We had a picnic in the truck bed while enjoying a view of the bridge before exploring some more. Let's head down to the river. So one thing we noticed right away about these, it seems they have a little bit more modern construction. This one has a 20 ton weight limit on it where a lot of the ones we would see in the Northeast would be like six or eight. Sometimes the question was like, how much does our truck weigh? <laughs> it was never a problem, but these, uh, these seem to be built a little more recent and a little sturdier. Lowell Covered Bridge is the widest covered bridge in Oregon. The original bridge was built in 1907 and the current bridge in 1945. So we're standing in front of the covered bridge. We don't know why it's closed, but we can peek inside. We got to read all the other signs and see it from a distance. Also, this lake, Dexter Dam and Lake, yeah. looks beautiful. Sometimes it is just so much work getting out the front door. It is 11 o'clock and we got out of bed at what, at like eight? That's a good solid two yeah. hours of just getting ready. Today will just be a few hours of seeing some covered bridges and that'll be that. But it'll be, it'll be a good day nonetheless. We're here in Cottage Grove and we're checking out Chambers Covered Bridge. We even drove by another pedestrian covered bridge just a moment ago coming through town. So they really are everywhere. The neat thing about this one is it's on a pedestrian path. So it's, you don't have to contend with cars at all. Yeah, I saw a sign that said scenic bikeway. I think you can bike through here. This is super neat. It's probably one of the tallest ones we've seen so far. It says last remaining fully covered railroad bridge this side of the Mississippi. Ah, I guess that would explain why the, it has the stripes down ah. the middle of it. Sometimes the obvious things are hard to notice. The last train came through here in 1951 and it was built in 1925. The city of Cottage Grove also has a neat swinging bridge and numerous murals, including one of the Mosby Creek Covered Bridge, which we then had to drive through. So here we are at the third bridge of the day, I think. This one's called the Curran Bridge. This one's kind of neat because it doesn't actually go anywhere. It ends right there. So you come in, come out. Let's go see what's at the end. This is 
fun to do. I mean, we can continue this all day, all week. Yeah, I think it's time to stop for some food. Yeah, I think we'll call this good. This will be our last covered bridge of our visit here. Yeah, we won't be hitting all 400 of them or whatever there is left. Yeah, I don't know if there are that many left, but there, there sure are a lot more that we could see. So we'll leave that to you. Go check out a covered bridge. Let us know if you found one that you love that we should check out next time we're in town. Yeah. So as we were checking out all these local covered bridges here in Oregon, in and around the Eugene area, we saw a covered bridge brewing group. We just happened to drive by it. We thought, oh, before COVID, it'd be so fun to stop there. And then we thought, well, maybe they do pick up. And sure enough, you can order online and go pick up some local brew. So this can be a totally covered bridge themed day. We're getting Porter on Nitro at Skibiega Bach and an Oktoberfest beer in Crowlers. They saw us pull up. They came right out, gave us the bag. There it is. Next stop, gonna pick up some tacos for lunch. Once again, we can place an order directly through the website on my phone. This time we're doing Taco Vor for lunch. We have actually been there before and it is really yummy. It should be done in five to 10 minutes. So we're gonna head there now. Success! We're gonna go home and eat now. I think we're all pretty hungry. Yeah. So this is the beer we picked up from Covered Bridge Brewing. We're gonna take these over to Kevin's brother's house and share those, do a taste testing over there. So for now, with lunch, we've decided to do a couple of other Oregon brews, Three Creeks Brewing, the Five Pine Chocolate Porter, and Elysian Great Pumpkin mm. Imperial Pumpkin Ale. I obviously got tacos from Taco Vor. Seemed like the name says it all. So I got Mole Verde, some chicken, and some uh, carne asada. And it looks like there's lots of yummy stuff in there with it. Onion, cilantro, avocado. Let's give it a try. I'm gonna go with the Mole Verde. Ooh, and we have extra sauce somewhere too. I'm gonna have to add some of that. That is really good. It's crunchy and all the flavors are just on point. Now I'm going to try the carne asada. Kind of falls apart a little bit. Mmm. Mm -hmm. The flavor of this one is really good. It's almost like you can tell the smokiness. I was thinking back on the last time we went here and I loved it. I feel like this is even better. So I got a tostada. It has carnitas, it looks like there's some black beans and green onions, and actually some orange slices in there, so that sounds Oh, good. that's gonna be a pop of flavor. That is so good. You just get kind of like that pulled beef sort of flavor right up front, and then there's, there's some kind of sauce on there, I don't even know what it is. And then the crunchiness of the bread just plays right into it. Whew, so I, I took a second bite, and the orange sweetness is kind of mixed with this really upfront spicy flavor. Uh, I think what I thought was green onions is probably jalapenos. This is really good. All right, so Taco Vor. Thumbs up. Thumbs up, check it out. All right, we are headed out of our campground over to Kevin's brother's house. We're going to hang out for a bit, let the kids play and do dinner together. And we were talking about for ease just doing some more takeout and then we could put together an actual eugene food tour for you guys that would be kind of fun it is time for another pickup order where are we going killer burger killer burger sounds awesome it's health food yep exactly Did you say you're hurting a little bit? A little bit, yeah. I probably should not have eaten that whole thing, but it's like a good hurt. <laughs> it was really good. We tried the beer we bought earlier in the day. Although the covered bridge theme was fun, the beer was just okay. We tried again by getting some beer from Oakshire, and that was excellent. Wow. Good. That is like that is like Hershey's syrup. So we are doing another food pickup order today, but this time it is for breakfast. I'm heading over to the Cresswell Bakery. I heard that this place is pretty good, and we got a couple of breakfast sandwiches and some pastries. 
So Kevin just got back from the bakery with a lot of amazing things. And look at the size of this. I mean, this is like the size of one of our kids' heads. <laughs> so it's a good thing we're sharing all this. So let me get this into the oven. Well, putting them in the oven worked. They are now super warm, nice and crispy, and they smell divine. Here we go. If I were going for a sandwich, I would get the ham. But the scones were really good. The scones too. were really good, yeah. You really can't go wrong. Should we all try the no. cardamom roll? I think their website said this is some kind of Swedish delicacy. I know why these are so popular. These are really good. Orange coconut is next. It's really good. Hazelnut sticky bun hit with the three year old. Orange coconut, no. That's okay. I think I'm going back to bed after this. Actually, we're fueling up for a few hours of adventure. We have plans to go out and find at least one waterfall. Yeah, I'd say there's a whole bunch within about an hour's drive of Eugene here. There are a lot of waterfalls, so if we can find one today, that'll be great. We made it out to the Sweet Creek Falls Trailhead over by Mapleton, Oregon. And apparently there are three waterfalls along this trail. We're not exactly clear if it's one mile round trip or one mile each way. Maybe this sign up here will tell us. So it doesn't say, we're just gonna go. We started at the homestead trailhead of the Sweet Creek Trail. We later discovered there are three other trailheads and actually 11 waterfalls in total. Oh, I don't think they're real far. chilly, but not too bad. It's pretty. Walkways like that, where you're perched over the river. You like it? This is really neat.
we've seen several waterfalls and this just keeps going. They were all pretty. For now, that's enough for little legs. Yeah, I think the kids are about tapped out. I think we only made it about halfway, all in all. Time to head back for dinner. It's about time to wrap it up for the night. So we're gonna do about an hour drive back to Eugene. Call it a day. We're doing a one day jaunt over to the coast. I think the plan is to go to Cape Perpetua and, and Strawberry Hill. I've heard this has a pretty spectacular tide pool in it and we should be getting oh. there right at low tide. Oh nice. All right, now I'm even more excited. We'll see what we see. You'll find out right along with us. Let's go. it's high low tide yeah we've already seen sea an enemy and some crabs and some starfish and we've just gotten started seat before we get to the next place which is Cape Perpetua. We're gonna have a picnic there and that will give us all energy to do a little more sightseeing. We're about to do just a tiny little hike and it's called the Whispering Spruce Trail. Cape Perpetua rises to over 800 feet above sea level and is the highest viewpoint accessible by car on the Oregon coast. The stone building here is called the West Shelter and was built by the CCC. It was used as an observation post during World War II and a coastal defense gun was installed here. The shelter is now on the National Register of Historic Places. We just stopped here on the side of the road to take a look at the Hasetta Lighthouse. It's beautiful and there is a viewpoint here. We're kind of running short on time now since we just did a day trip. We are headed back. The kids are getting tired. We want to make it back before dinner. So we're just checking it out from here. The Heseta Head Lighthouse has a 56-foot tower and sits on the Heseta Head. Its beacon is rated as the strongest light on the Oregon coast. We're actually on our way back for the day. We were just coming through Florence and saw all the sand dunes here on the side and decided, well, I don't think we could pass this up. the sand dunes turned into an actual adventure. I will admit, I have some sand in my teeth. Yes. <laughs> I do too. You do you too. You do too, I guess that's all I of do us. too. All yeah. right. And we'll have to wash all the clothes and probably all take showers. 
but I guess that's a given after playing on the sand dunes. So we're gonna head home now and figure out what we're gonna do for dinner. And that wrapped up our month in Eugene. We head back down to Nevada, see a roadside attraction we didn't expect to find in the middle of the desert, and check out Ash Meadows National Wildlife Refuge, the largest remaining oasis in the Mojave Desert. Make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you're notified the next time we release a travel video. See you soon. Waiting on a big truck right now. Almost ready. Ready? <laughs> it <So> is. <laughs> All right. Go ahead, I guess. Try again. I was gonna ask anything in my teeth. <laughs> Not that close. I'm starving. Man, does anybody still have room for this? I do. I do too. <laughs> okay, can you take that shoe off? Show me how much sand is in there. Whoa! <laughs>